Rebecca Sedwick, Hannah Smith, Todd Loik, and Hope Woodsell. Now to us, these are just names, the millionaire's names. But to their friends and family, they're a constant reminder of the potentially dangerous consequences of cyberbullying. Because these are all teenagers, they were all abused online, and unfortunately, they took their own lives. Now, cyberbullying is defined as online harassment that's carried out by one person or a group of people against another person that cannot easily defend him or herself. Now, the aim of my research study is to come up with a method to automatically detect and prevent cyberbullying on social media. In order to do this, one of the key deliverable of this project is the development of a software, a mobile software tool, essentially a mobile app that runs on a smartphone. Now this app runs constantly on a smartphone and it listens out for messages. Now this is based on the principle that it is my belief that the detection of cyberbullying on online can be formulated as a series of natural language processing tasks. So we can use data mining techniques such as sentiment analysis or text categorization or even user modeling to formulate an opinion about a particular piece of text to determine if that piece of text is indeed a bullying message or not. So going from this idea then, this mobile tool runs and will listen out to any message that's sent to the user. Now this could be message sent via SMS or via IM messaging tool like WhatsApp or even social media sites like Facebook or Twitter or MySpace. Now the message are then each broken down and reduced to their root form in a process called stemming. And then key phrases within each of this message will be classified to determine if the whole message itself is indeed a bully message. Now the preventive action that will be taken by this tool will be informed by a series of focus groups which I intend to run with teenagers, their parents, and their teachers to gain an insight into this group's understanding and perspective of cyberbullying and how they would like to combat this in the future. It is my aim and hope that via this project, I'll be able to come up with a truly innovative and technological solution for cyberbullying victims to be able to not only manage what they do online, but also to be able to combat online abuse and prevent the unfortunate situation that this youngster found himself in. My name is Semi Salau, and it is my mission to make cyberbullying extremely difficult online. Thank you.